Hi everyone, Zoltan here and this video will be about chickens. I mean the 6800XT. You might already know the card from my previous video when we were comparing the FX5900 XT with the 6800 XT. It's a really nice looking card as I consider it. And here I like those LEDs which are lighting up the XFX logo on the side of the card. Here is the Molex plug. This is just a simple one slot cooler. Uses AGP 8X. We have two DVI and an S video. And yeah, it's a nice black PCB. So, yeah, it's a pretty cool card. I, I like the design, this uh, green and black coloring of it. Not everyone likes it, but yeah, I really do. So, in this video, our plan is to unlock some pixel and vertex pipelines on this card. So, we will just uh, take a look at uh, the, uh, the GPU-Z side, the Tech Power App side, and let's take uh, a look what uh, the card actually has. So, it has eight pixel pipelines and four vertex uh, pipelines or shaders and eight texturing and eight ROP units and yeah we have the 256 megabyte version if I remember well and it's a 256 bit bus I'm pretty sure about it and we have made some uh, benchmarks with the card the other version of this card is the default 6800 uh, which has 12 pixel, 5 vertex, and because the pixel um, pipelines and the TMUs and ROPs are linked, um, it's the same amount. So it's also increasing the rasterizing and texturing performance as you increase the number of pixel shaders, and yeah, basically almost the same uh, memory bus and, and stuff. And the more powerful version here is the 8600 GT. I have a PCI Express version, so I'm pretty mm, know how it uh, performs. Um, the GPU version is uh, more or less similar. And here we have 16 pixel pipelines and 6 vertex pipelines and 16 uh, TMOs and 16 ROPs. And yeah, it's a lower memory version that I just opened, but basically uh, there are 256. Uh, megabyte uh, versions as well. So the plan is that I will use a river tuner and try to unlock uh, hopefully at least a vertex shader and a block, uh, I mean four pixel shaders, and we will have this performance. Or if you are really really successful and we have the NV40 uh, chip, as you can see this is the NV40 so it's possible basically you tell look it to 16 pipelines if you have the AGP version and it's the NV41 which is a bit different chip as you see it's smaller cooler and uh, lesser uh, heat production so yeah well this card is not for us I hope we have the NV40 and we'll be able to unlock it and there is also the Ultra version, I haven't opened it, but basically it will have the same configuration, but uh, higher core and memory clocks, basically. I don't want to increase the clocks on this card for this first test. We will just try to unlock some Pixel Vertex uh, pipelines. Hopefully, if any performance we gain, it's uh, really cool. And I will try to show you the process, how I do it. I have never done such thing before, so this is first time. And just a lot of googling and, and trying to find out how to do it properly. And yeah, we'll see if it will will do any good for us. Um, some of you requested this video, so finally I'm here and I'm doing it. Uh, sorry I don't have my uh, camera stand here, so I'm just holding the camera, which uh, might be dizzy again, like the older videos. I hope it's not that bad, I'm trying to hold the camera tight, so yeah, I hope you will enjoy the video, and uh, yeah, let's uh, go and see how this card will perform. Okay, so unfortunately I have the NV42 uh, chip, 
which is a 12 pixel and 5 vertex uh, setup. So we won't be able to unlock uh, 16 uh, pixel or 6 vertex, but the increasement for 8 to 12 and from 4 to 5 would be really awesome. Here we can see the actual specifications of the card. I will use the previous benchmark we did with the 5900 XT compersion. I just added some uh, feature tests to see the ferret, pixel and vertex shaders from 3 d Mark uh, 03 and 05. So this will be good for compersion. So what I also did after I installed the drivers, which are... Uh, let me see, 6360, the 94.24. Uh, uh, so this is the latest drivers for uh, Windows 2000 uh, from the official NVIDIA driver site. And I installed the Revue Tuner. I shouldn't have to close this window. Sorry about the camera moving around and just holding it again, so it's bad. So it's the Oriva Tunera 224 version the C. It had the C on the down one side. So yeah, basically this version is really good with Windows 2000 and XP. And I just uh, opened up Rivet Tuner. It will load a bunch of stuff for a while, but then it will load up and here you can see the card. Uh, 6800 the GSXT. But uh, yeah, here we are. It was unknown for a while. Okay, so you just go on the main page and click on the customize. And here, the first one is the low level system settings. You click on it and you will have a bunch of stuff. What you will need is the NV strap driver. So here, everything will be just uh, gray and blanked. Uh, you click on the install. Uh, just one moment. It doesn't need any internet connection or or anything. And yeah, we are here. And I just read a bunch of forums. I haven't done it before, so I just want to do it in camera and hoping it will work. So I think the necessary setting will be the Olo enabling hardware mask units. So let me click here. Enabling units which have not passed hardware quality testing, yeah, that's okay, may cause unpredictable results, including uh, permanent damages. Continue. Yeah, we do. We want some permanent damages. I click on OK, and uh, maybe OK one more time. You must restart Windows before the new settings will take effect. Do you want to restart Windows now? Of course we do. So, I will come back after the system restart. After the reboot we are here and active pixel vertex units configuration. Let's click on the custom. I'll just apply it. Uh, customize. And here we see a bunch of uh, interesting stuff. So here we have pixel unit 0 which is enabled and the pixel unit 2 which is also enabled and pixel unit 1 is disabled, so this will be something we would love. And as you can see, no bit masks for the other pipeline, so definitely this is the NV42. And we can see we have vertex units from 0 to 4, which is 5 units. And we have a disabled unit here. So, first let's just try to see what difference will it make if we can enable a vertex unit. So. We have just two tabs here, these are uh, pixel blocks, so we can enable four or none at all. So, first we will try if the vertex unit is OK on the card. It's possible this is a completely good card, it's just uh, disabled. Mm. I think this is how you enable it, not sure yet, first time. Custom 8pp. 5 VP, so I think this is what we need. Click OK and do another restart. And it's also possible that these are wrong vertex shaders, these are faulty, and it will do several you know, graphical glitches and stuff. So it's a good thing, I think, to just enable the vertex and then we'll try the pixel pipelines as well and also see that the vertex performance increases. 
it's kind of interesting stuff and I think it's uh, pretty easy. So, well, I will restart now and we will come back with some results, I guess. Here we are after the reboot and unfortunately GPZ, it still says uh, for Vertex Pipelines. Rivetiner says this uh, 8pp5vp thing. And here is disabled, but here in the bit mask it says a 1. So it's possible it's working now. Um, not sure, really not sure if we have done it right or, or not. But I will go and see the 3D Mark uh, Vertex and other feature tests and I will see if there is any difference and then I come back again. Okay, so it looks like no luck with the Riva Tuner. Further looking online, I've seen that this is the NV41 or 42 uh, GPU. You are just not able to unlock those uh, pipelines. So, as we have seen so far, it says 12 uh, pixel 4 vertex. I've tried the 12 pixel 5 vertex as well. It's just not working at all, unfortunately. So yeah, I have seen some guys unlocking some cards from with the NV40 GPU to from 12 to 16 and from 5 to 6 vertex shaders, but I haven't seen anyone who basically unlocked this card uh, that way. But the NV41 and the 42 GPUs are having these. Uh, pipelines, they are just uh, baked more into maybe the hardware or the BIOS, I'm not sure about it. All we know that it's impossible with the Rivet Tuner that way and that it should be possible at the hardware level to do it somehow. So what I'm trying to do right now is that I downloaded a BIOS of the Asus 6800 uh, um, six, uh, 256 megabyte uh, card with 256 uh, bus weight and also it has the 350 megahertz core clock and a 500 megahertz memory clock as my card and it has 12 pixel and 5 vertex shaders unlocked on the BIOS so what I'm trying to do is use the Envy Flash and try to put this BIOS on it. So what I've done so far is I just uh, saved my own BIOS to the XFX ROM file and I will try to uh, flash the ASUS ROM which is this, just copied it and renamed to have a shorter final just to make sure. I'm using the NVIDIA firmware update utility version 5.18 yeah and I downloaded this uh, BIOS from the tech power up site, you know, the GPs and stuff we have seen. Okay, so I tried to do this uh, BIOS flashing thing and I will came back to you and hopefully it will be a luck and I just hope I will not kill my uh, graphics card, but well, this video is about this, so, so let's try. So I managed to kill the card. Um, instead of the ASUS BIOS because it was an NV40 and I was worrying about destroying the card I decided to flash first this XFX uh, BIOS which was uh, well basically completely identical with my own card just a board ID difference but everything else like this uh, version was completely the same also same clocks and, and everything just um, perfectly the same and after the flash and the reboot well there were no image at all on the screen so it's really sad so what I might try to do is to to fire up a different motherboard uh, with an onboard graphics or PCI graphics and try to uh, rewrite the original bias of the card if it's uh, possible uh, to select uh, an other graphics card, not the actual one, so well, it's a bit uh, difficult, but my work will. If not, then uh, I just destroy a nice card, so yeah. 
that's it for now. I will come back very soon with uh, some updates on this stuff, but that's pretty sad actually. Okay, so here we are. I was able to find a very similar S3 Trio 64 card. Different look, but similar PCI card. Booted up Windows 2000 with it. And, well, as you can see here... Ah, uh, yeah, I have the 6800, the GSXT, and the Trio card, which is displaying the image right now. And because uh, I backed up the original XFX BIOS, now I just uh, updated it uh, or reverted it back to the original successfully. As you can see, if I can focus right, well, these are basically uh, where we're the same. So, yeah, I don't know why it wasn't good. And this time I'm not even sure it will boot up with the original BIOS once again, but well, <laughs> this video turned out to be a bit different, kind of uh, restoring a non-working card, uh, if it works at all. I'm not sure yet, but yeah, we've tried it, so I will switch back to um, the NVIDIA card and we'll see if it will boot again, and yeah. Well, let's see that. Okay, so let's finish this video because uh, it was a struggle. So, it, this was the PCI card I used for the recovery. And as you can see, I was able to restore the original BIOS. So, at least uh, the card is alive. And yeah, it says the 12.5 setup, but it's still disabled here. So, no luck with that. The performance is exactly the same, so that's a little bit sad. Uh, I wasn't able to, to unlock it. So, but yeah, at least uh, you've seen how to, how you could recover your card, basically. If you have questions, I can tell you the details, how you can reset the BIOS like that and stuff like that. Unfortunately, it's not the NV40. Uh, with that, I think uh, we could, we've been lucky. So, but not with this NV41 or 42, depends on GPU Z or River Tuner. So, yeah, this was the video. One thing I'm just thinking about: this has a, an OK cooler and 256 bit of bandwidth and stuff so and very low clocks so it's only 350 while other cards are running at 450 or 500 megahertz and also 600 megahertz the memory while this is only 500 megahertz so maybe some OC could help so I think uh, in the next video I will try to OC this card and we will see how much performance uh, we can gain with this good memory bandwidth and only 8 pixel pipeline, so it should be easily overclockable. So, because this 8 pipelines is just uh, kind of cool. I mean, it's not overheating pretty much, it's only, yeah, I know it's uh, 49 and it's not under load, but basically, it wasn't uh, a big temperature here at all, even after running some benchmarks. So, hopefully, we can OC it a bit and see how it will perform and stuff. So, sorry that this video wasn't as successful or as as I was planned it to, to be. But still, thank you so much for watching. Please like the video if you liked it, share it and uh, subscribe if you haven't done it so far. And yeah, thanks once more and see you in the next one. Bye bye.